calling U.S. military here in South China Sea. 讲南海捣乱。领土主权。In my opinion, China is clearly、uh, militarizing the South China Sea, and you'd have to believe in a flat Earth、uh, to think otherwise. You know, I think China's uh, uh, SSMs, surface-to-surface -surface,、uh, missiles, surface-to-air missiles on、uh, Quadrant on,、uh, on uh, Woody Allen, rather,、uh, its radars,、uh, new radars on Quadrant Reef over here,、uh, the runway, the 10,000-foot runway on Subi Reef over here. And on Fire Cross Reef、uh, and other places, these are actions that are changing, in my opinion, the operational landscape in the South China Sea. Well, no matter what people think, Admiral, the Earth is still round. The words that you've been saying are as misleading as saying the Earth is flat. First of all, China has never sought to militarize the South China Sea islands and reefs through construction efforts. Whether they are being militarized depends on for what purpose the construction is conducted. In fact, China's construction works include not only building necessary defense facilities, but also civilian infrastructure. Second, not seeking to militarize the South China Sea does not mean not to set up defense. By building defense facilities on Chinese islands and reefs, China is actually exercising its rights to self-preservation and self-defense, both of which are safeguarded by international law. Actually. The American warship's constant strolling at China's backyard has made us very nervous. We have to repair our fence. I believe that China's actions、uh, are provocative, it increases tensions, and it causes the nations in the region、uh, to look to、uh, the United States、uh, as their security partner of choice and away from China. As a country heavily dependent on this important waterway, China would be the last one in the world to wish for turbulence in the South China Sea. Whenever in dispute, China would always resort to peaceful negotiations. The Asia-Pacific region has been at peace for decades, but that valuable peace has been broken by frequent visits of American warships and airplanes, like a gate-crashing visitor to the neighborhood. So, who has really been muddling the waters of the South China Sea? Hmm, I wonder. Besides. China is not the only country in the region to build infrastructure and defense facilities on South China Sea islands. Other countries, such as the Philippines, have long been doing so on Chinese islands. Yet that hasn't stopped the U.S. from calling China a bully and turning a blind eye to its little brother's unlawful behavior. Resorting to fear mongering by vilifying China as a threat, Washington plots to force a collision to encircle China and force it to dance to its tune. But China. Unlike some countries, will not be a minion following the despicable.